Hello everyone. Welcome back to machine learning sessions. Today we will be seeing one more topic under analytical learning, which is sequential covering algorithms. So in the previous session, we have talked about learn one rule that also comes under the sequential covering algorithms itself, but it is a part. Okay. So first let us see what is this sequential covering algorithm. Okay. So here the learning rule sets is based on strategy of learning one rule. So when we have done the learn one rule first, and here also we will be seeing a bit about, about the learn one rule, and then we talk about the sequential covering algorithm. Okay, so after learning one rule, remove the data that this particular rule will cover. Okay, we will remove that and on the remaining examples we work on. Then iterate this process until we are done with all the examples. So let us see the sequential covering algorithms. So first we have to talk about the subroutine learn one rule. Okay, so this subroutine learn one rule, it accepts a set of positive and negative training examples as input and then outputs a single rule that covers many of the positive examples and few of the negative examples we have seen in the earlier case. Okay, so we require that this output rule will have high accuracy, but it need not cover all the examples, some which are not required for us which are redundant and which are not relevant all that we have eliminated the only we have expanded the examples only which have high value of entropy right okay so here by high accuracy we mean predictions it should make should be carried and accepting low coverage means it did not make predictions for each and every training example some it can leave also okay so uh, what is the approach that we follow to learn a set of rules is first we will invoke the learn one rule on all the available training examples and then we remove any positive examples that are already learned by this algorithm okay so then invoke the algorithm again okay so to learn a second rule based on the remaining training examples and then iterate this process as many times as we can and finally, the output that we will be getting is a disjunction of set of rules that we have learned using this algorithm. So in the first step, you might have got one rule. So to that, we have added one more. Then you will add one more uh, like that. Finally, we will have a conjunction of all the set of rules. Okay. So this is called as a sequential covering algorithm because it sequentially learns a set of rules that together cover the full set of positive examples okay so only in the rule learn one rule we have done only one iteration we have not done completely for all the hypotheses okay so because of the time constraint also we have seen only one node being expanded then the final set of rules can then be sorted so that more accurate rules will be considered first whenever a new instance must be classified Okay, so this is the sequential covering algorithm which accepts the target attribute and the set of attributes, examples, and a threshold value also. Okay, so this uh, threshold will, is uh, like a heuristic. And then initially the learned rules are empty. Here you can see learned rules we are taking as empty. So then what we are doing with these target attributes and attributes examples, we are invoking the learn one algorithm. Okay, so the learn one algorithm will learn a rule and it will output it. And then we will check the performance. While performance of rule comma examples is greater than the threshold value that we have supplied here. Okay, suppose if the rule is able to classify at least three positive examples. Let us say the threshold value was three. So it is classifying three examples correctly. So then the particular rule is acceptable and that we add on to the set of learned rules. Initially, it is empty, right? So now the first rule will be added. And then what are all the positive examples that were classified? So that we will eliminate out of the 13, 13, 13 or 14, day 14, day 13, I guess. So 13 samples we have there, 13 examples. Out of 13, three were classified. So how many are remaining? 10 examples are remaining. So now on those remaining examples, again, we will invoke this learn one rule. And one more rule will be learned. So like that, a set of rules will be learned. And all the learned rules are will be finally sorted. 
according to the performance over the example. Suppose rule one is able to classify three examples perfectly. Then rule three is classifying six examples. So then rule three must be there on the top followed by rule one. So like that we try to sort and finally we return the learned rules. So this is the aim of the sequential covering algorithm. So let us see an overview of the sequential uh, covering algorithm with an example. So let us think that we have set of positive examples and set of negative examples. Okay. So now, initially, the decision rule set is empty. So let us think that these set of rules are, these set of examples will be classified by rule one and these by rule two and these by rule three and these examples will be classified by rule four. Let us say something. Okay. Only positive examples I'm considering. I'm not worrying about the negative examples. Okay. So then, so when when I have done the first thing, okay, when I have supplied this to my learn one algorithm, so then what will happen? This set of positive examples are learned and one rule is done. So then to the set of rules, initially the set of rules are all empty when we have done this. So now after learning this rule one, so the rule one was learned of, so it will be added to the set of decisions. So now again, rule two will be learned of. So then we will be adding rule two also into the rule set. Rule one is learned of, rule two is learned. Okay, so now which one of the sorting we will do at the end. Okay, rule two is learned. So now coming to the next set of examples, Okay, so then rule three is learned. Okay, so that is classifying these set of examples, say suppose. Okay, so then that also we will add the set of examples. So rule one, rule two, and rule three. And finally, this also will be learned. Okay, so let us add rule four also. So now, which one should come on to the top? Which one should be the first one is the one which is able to classify more examples. Okay. So, which is classifying more examples? R1 is able to classify seven positive examples. R2 is classifying six. R3 is classifying five. R4 is classifying four. So, R1 should be there on the top. So, now the rules I will be sorting out in this order. R1, R2, R3 and R4. Okay. So, like this, I will be adding all the rules to the rule set. So, this will be the outcome of our sequential covering algorithm. Okay, sequentially one by one rule is learned. So, hope you enjoyed the topic. If you like this, please do subscribe, like, share and do comment also. If you need any other topics also, please let me know in the comment section. And if you have any queries also, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.